I decided to add more spirit and coziness to the ship and the admiral's cabin. So I designed a few furniture pieces to print. It's challenging for me to get used to the fact that the resin printer grows things upside down. That means I have to think upside down when planning the supports. And this is what happens when supports aren't done correctly. Look at these legs. Now that all parts are printed correctly, I prepare them for painting. I remove some extra supports, but not all of them. First, I cover the parts with a gray primer. Next, I'll paint them with a light brown color. I found that these two stages are better done with an airbrush. Now I'll try to make them look like wood. I'll use a flat brush and a darker color to make strokes on the surface. You may try an even darker shade. And even more dark. Now let's imagine that there is an old map on the table. Just cut out a piece of paper napkin, dip it into diluted PVA glue and carefully place it on the table. Use a brush to add some more glue if needed. Once the glue dries, I'll paint over the map with the white paint to make it more realistic. Okay, done. And let's put furniture in its place. Now let's take care of the poop deck. My process is explained in detail in the quarter deck video, so please follow the link in the upper corner if you are interested. As usual, first I work on the material. I glue planks onto the veneer, then I cut the deck from this material using the CNC machine. Tinting the deck is also done as usual. I use diluted oil paint and remove the excess with a napkin. To prevent the deck from sagging and moving, I decided to install one beam. I think it will be enough. In 
installing the deck with the help of office rubber bands. They provide quite a pressure when multiple bands are used together. And now the most difficult part, the carved side panels. I wanted to decorate the cabin side somehow, but without making the design too complicated. So, after reviewing available sources and simplifying the design, I spent a couple of nights with Fusion 360 and came up with this. I wanted the arches on the side panels to stand out. Ideally, I would cut the arches separately from the pyrwood, but that would be too fragile. So I decided to make a two-layer material, with a layer of pure wood and the underneath layer of walnut planks that I used for the house final planking. First, I made a pure wood base and then leveled its surfaces on the CNC machine to make them parallel. Now I had to lay the planks down. As you can see the side panel doesn't have right angles, so I had to lay planks at a certain angle. And to create two symmetrical panels, the angle of the planks had to be mirrored. Here is what it ended up looking like. All the surfaces and layers are now parallel. I'm happy to see that the desired pattern appears from under the mill. That means that all calculations were correct. The finished part is only 1.3 mm thick. It would have been easy to make a mistake. Now I'm tinting the panels using the usual method oil paint and the napkin. Finally, I glue the panels. Well, that's been a complex and time-consuming process, but the last step is simple.
And now, here is the result of my work for today. Enjoy, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. I read all of them.